Welcome back to another exciting family week in Ghana. If this is the first time seeing me on this channel, my name is Charles Entry. I'm a task consultant and I'm passionate about farming. So here on my channel, we talk about farming in Ghana. So yeah, starting from the previous video, we are still on a PS farm. Yeah, today I'm going to look at Garden X farm, how they are nursed from its seedlings to time of maturity. So as you can see here on the farm, you can see that I'm in a Garden X plant. As you can see them here. I don't know how months they are. We'll speak to him so he shares some wisdom with us or some knowledge with us how to go about the planting of garden eggs. So yeah, if you've clicked on this video to watch, just know that I come to learn something exciting about garden egg. And he has more knowledge on it, so he'll share us in-depth knowledge on how to grow your own garden eggs. Give us some tips and the business aspect of it as well. So, so as we get into the video, kindly hit on the red button to subscribe. Hit on the notification button to get a glad bit as I when I drop new video. And drop a like on this video so it helps to promote this video to share it to other people as well and just share the video as well and drop your comments in the comment section so join me as we speak to up here to know how best to go about garden eggs farming in Ghana so up here yes, sir. Uh, we are at the garden egg section yes. kindly take us through what you do on the farm like share some knowledge or some wisdom with us okay you know, normally we, we are into production of um, vegetables. Okay. Yeah. So we have different types of uh, crops that we've grown. So these are veg, um, garden eggs. We normally call it melongina. That's the botanical name of? It's not the botanical, it's the type, the variety that we've planted. Oh, okay. So we normally, we don't mention uh, garden eggs. You always say melongina. <laughs> <laughs> At least, we yeah. the layman, we, we say garden eggs. Because <laughs> When you see what, what you see on the market, what we buy, we don't sure, go and see sure, sure, yeah. Sure. yeah, we have different varieties of um, garden eggs that we, we normally plant. Okay. We have the Javara, we have the Melongina, we have the uh, the Black Beauty. They are all type of that's uh, a different yes, varieties. Different varieties. So we are having the Melongina as a, as I'm talking. Okay. Yes. You know, uh, garden eggs too is one of the major um, vegetables that people normally consume. Like. In West Africa, a lot of people consume garden, consume garden eggs. So um, it's also profitable as well. If you compare garden eggs and okra, it, it seems in terms of profit margin, they, they, seem to they be look different. alike. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. So with this type of um, um, garden eggs, it takes six weeks to maturity. One mm. month, two weeks, nice. then it's ready after germination or after. Um, taking it from the nursery bed and then transplant it. Okay. It takes exactly six months, the, um, six weeks, then it's ready to harvest. Yes. So we planted this, um, that was in April, like okay. March. It was March. Sure. Yes, yeah, March. Like that was two weeks after um, the middle of March that we planted this um, gardeners. So as I know, you can see that I started fruiting. Yeah. yeah. yeah just that it's suffering a bit because it needs water. water. Uh, you know, we don't have uh, any closet river here, so we are not able to irrigate the field. So it's suffering some way. But in terms of um, garden edge production, garden edge requires some um, amount of temperature. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't. It's a warm um, crop. Like how do I say it? It's a it doesn't need that much sunshine or no it needs sunshine to perform its functions okay yes so it doesn't need much rain uh -huh. it just needs the shower and then like a, all, all the time when the soil is moist uh -huh, without rain it can perform all its uh, functions oh okay yes okay so can you tell us the reason why you are growing the melo melongina or well melongina was uh, required by some some people yeah they brought the seeds that we should plant it for them and they will come in to buy okay so they, uh, did, they had specific demand yes, for this yes okay. you know normally in ghana we plant the white ones that's what we normally find in our, in our various markets okay. but we are having the melongina it's not that white it's green and white uh, oh, okay. so it's not going to be white as you have been seeing in the market this is the type that we are planting so the normal one we see on the market the white green and white ones no no we see the white the white, we have the white one the white ones. so now do you know the name for it that, that we have um we have the um aubergine that's the name they normally call it aubergine in um south africa they call it aubergine 
Okay. Uh, but in Ghana, they call it white type. White type. That's what they normally call it. On so to identify yes. this one. Yes. Mm. So what planting distance are you using for this one too? Okay, with this one we are using 90 by 60. 90. Because you know gardeners normally it normally it branches. Uh -huh. So you have to give it a little like space so that it can like the, the, the branches can form and it's uh, can that open so that you can get more yield. Okay. So like uh, each garden egg, like, how many fruits can you plug like each one? It depends on the uh, the branches that you are going to get on the on the plant. Uh, because each each uh, plant bears at least ten fruits. So if you're having ten uh, branches on it, if you maintain it well, you can give like hundred uh, fruits on each plant. Wow. And how long does it normally take? Well, gardeners actually doesn't involve like it doesn't have a specific time of like a life cycle. Uh, mm -hmm. If you maintain it well, it takes a longer period before it dies off. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because Garden, garden next actually is not like the this annual crops. It's a uh, biennial crop. It takes six. up to six months. Six months. Uh -huh. It takes up to six months. Unlike um, okra and tomatoes, you know, it takes within three months. Then the life the, the lifespan will end. Uh -huh. But this one is a biennial crop, so it takes about six to seven months before the the the, the, the yield will lose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So you're talking about some grafting earlier on. Yeah, I was, I was saying that, you know, sometimes if you look at the weather or the way you imagine how your, you want your farm to be, uh -huh, if you are doing agribusiness, sometimes you have to look for other ways that you can, if you don't have vast land, you have some, like, just an area, some small area and you want to, you still want to go deep. You can do grafting on garden eggs. You can graft, um, pepper on garden eggs then it will be fruiting your pepper for you and then your garden eggs at one side okay so for those watching us who don't understand the grafting how, how do you explain that one to them so they understand it well grafting is the act of uh, or it's a process or act of taking um, the scion of one plant or one one particular type of plant okay. uh, of the same species to a stock of the same species and then putting it together just that you make sure that the cambium layer is not uh, destroyed so that after fixing it uh, like the uh, when photosynthesis takes place each plant can absorb water so that it will stick together to form one particular plant okay. see from layman point of view eh? I understand <laughs> it. Because I was saying and, uh, <laughs> so you have like a normal garden egg plant like this and let's say you you, you graft cut it with uh, pepper. chili pepper. Yes. So, so it, it will be growing mm. with the garden egg. Then it, you also have like chili pepper also growing on it. Sure, sure. Even yeah. though it's a garden egg plant like this, but you have chili pepper also chili like... Chili pepper on it. So yeah, to be fruiting, yeah. you get your fruit, your chili pepper fruit, and then you get your garden eggs as well. Yes. That'd be crazy. That one is done. You see sometimes with um, pepper, let's say tomatoes, mm. because they are of the same species. So if, let's say, tomato, if where you are there are some diseases maybe nematodes in the uh, soil okay. and you're not able to grow tomatoes on your field at the next site you can grow your um, your, your tomatoes so that you cut the, uh, the scion so that you put it on the garden eggs okay. uh -huh, so that you know the garden eggs is the one uh, uh, the roots will be down so the, the tomatoes is going to bear fruit without its roots by taking the, the roots of, like getting it from the roots of the garden eggs. Mm. You understand? So there is no, there is nothing be, like. There will be no roots for like. No the roots for the um, tomatoes. Toma okay. Uh -huh. But it will be feeding on the garden eggs. Garden eggs. But yes. it will bear like. It will bear this, like the way tomatoes is. Mm. So that once it affects probably the water that you would have to. No, 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 it's not, it's not going to affect it. So to it's like, like you have one branch here. It's just this branch that maybe you take it off. You take this one, then you put the tomatoes there. It's not going to affect it in any way. No, oh, okay. Yes. That's nice. So let's look at the business aspect. Which one will you advise? Let's say a farmer wants to get into gardening. Which one will you advise him to go for? To use the white type or like this one? That's what I'm saying. That all depends on the market. So before you go into the business of um, any crop, 
you have to look for your market first. Okay. You have to do some background checks or some market checks so that you know the type of crops the uh, the local or the markets buy before you also choose to plant yours. Mm. Uh, because if you go and plant a different type that maybe nobody is consuming at that area, you can't yep. turn that one to be a business. Mm. Uh, so you look at what is trending in, uh, in the market and then you also go into it. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. But in Ghana, which one is mostly consumed? But I mean, I've never seen this type before. Okay, I don't really go to the market now. <laughs> <laughs> so you I know, can't... in our local market, it's the white white type, the white uh, aubergine is what we normally the buy. Manipo. Yes. Okay. Okay. So these seeds are sourced in Ghana? Or well, no, these ones are not sourced in Ghana. Yes, okay. we had it from outside. Someone brought it that we should plant it for him. Uh, yes. But the Ghanaian ones, they are the white type? Or? The white type. That's what we normally use. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright. So I think, I think this is the, like, we come to the Drada Kittens or the Garden Egg Farm at Topia's Ventures. Yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We are able to learn something. If you have any question that you want me to know or you want to ask, drop it in the comment section. Opia will be there to give you answers on it as well. So yeah, if today's the first time seeing me on this channel, my name is Shao Senji. I'm a task consultant and I'm passionate about farming. Here in Ghana, we talk about farming in Ghana. And today, as you can see, we look at green pepper. If you look at garden eggs <laughs> in Ghana. So yeah, as you can see, these are garden eggs uh, being planted. They are how many weeks old? Six weeks. Six weeks now. Yeah, they are. And they are fruiting. So I think he began some harvesting and has left yes. someone for them to grow a bit. So yeah, catch me in the next one. Kindly drop a like, uh, drop, kindly like this video and drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know your take on this video. Catch you in the next one. Bye.